continuing with uh, making subject of a formula this is a question the volume of a cone with a base radius of r and a vertical height of h is given by this formula so you don't need to worry about the formula so let me draw a cone say this is a cone a sketch of a cone say this is okay so this is the radius this is the base radius and this is the height Okay, so this is your h and this is your r so the volume of this cone which is this okay the volume of this cone okay is given by this formula so i want to make h the subject and then r the subject so i'm going to write this like this again so v is equal to one third pi r squared i'll write h with a different color so that h is the focus here now you want to make h the subject here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to slowly eliminate everything other than h from the right hand side so on the right hand side to get to v i'm thinking you can think in different ways because this is uh, using bed mass the last thing that would have happened was dividing by three so i want to undo this three which is divided by three so I'm going to multiply both sides. I'll use green color. If I multiply this side with 3, I have to multiply this side with 3. So the next step would look like 3v is equal to pi r squared. Let me write h with blue. Now what happened to this 3? This 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. Okay. The next step is you can do in one step or in two steps so you got pi times r squared so i want to eliminate this from the right hand side so what should i do i should divide both side by pi r squared and pi r squared it's very easy if you think in a logical way so now this and this the whole thing will get cancelled so h or 3v over pi r squared is equal to h which implies in terms of h, h is 3v over pi r squared, just like that, and this is your answer. Okay, now the next is a slightly difficult, you want to make r the subject, that means you want to write this equation in terms of r, so let me rewrite the question, rewrite the equation again, so v is equal to one third pi I'm going to write r squared with a different color now, r squared times h, oh sorry, I should write this with black, so my focus is r, oh, <laughs> sorry, so this is pi r squared h, so r squared is the focus, you want to write, eliminate everything other than r squared from the right hand side, so the same logic, you're going to multiply this side by 3, so you have to multiply this side by 3. Now the reason I'm multiplying this side with 3 is, I hope you know, it's very clear now, I want to get rid of this 3. So I've got 3v, 3v is equal to pi r squared h, which is nothing but pi h times r squared, because it's times, it doesn't matter in any way you multiply. So now can I divide this side by pi h? So I have to divide this side by also pi h. So if you divide this side by pi times h, you can divide this side by pi times h. And you can cancel the pi h from this side. So what remains is 3v over pi h is equal to r squared. This implies r is equal to 3v over now the last step is crucial now to explain that if suppose say x squared is equal to say 25 if you want to find x i hope you know x is square root of 25 you should in fact write plus or minus square root of 25 because plus because this is x is equal to plus or minus 5 okay that's this uh, at a higher level, they expect you to write both because you know pi squared 
is 25 and negative 5 squared is also 25. But on the calculator, it will give you only one answer. You may ask, why, do, why doesn't it give only, uh, why does it give only one answer? Because the calculator by default gives you only one answer. I'll show this on a calculator because it's very important for you to understand when you run. So if you go square root of 25 on a calculator, that gives you only 5. But this is, uh, the calculator doesn't have the brain. It's, it is set in such a way by default it gives you only one answer. But for math student, you should know 5 squared, because square and square root, what my, I'm trying to explain square and square root are opposite, opposite of each other. So 5 squared is 25, and, but if you put minus 5 squared, that will give you. Now the bracket is very important because if you go like this minus 5 squared on a cal sorry, if you go minus 5 squared on a calculator, it will give you minus 25 because the calculator understands when you're putting a minus, it understands as minus 5 times 5. Okay, so what the calculator is doing is it's understanding this, sorry, minus 5 squared is 25. Okay. Now, how they got 25 is because the calculator is doing minus 5 times 5. That is, but when you put this in the bracket, minus 5 squared, the calculator understands is minus 5 times minus 5. It, oh, sorry. Minus 5 times minus 5 is 25. So this should be very clear. So, if you want to remove the square, you have to take the square root. So if you take the square root of r squared of this side, you have to take the square root of the r squared of the other side. <coughs> so I'm not worried about plus or minus, that's all right. Uh, okay, so if you find square root, if square and square root are opposite of each other. So r is, you should be writing plus or minus because here, uh, the volume R would be positive, so we're not worried about the negative square root. So we can write that is R is equal to 3V over pi H. Okay, so this is your answer because R negative doesn't make sense here because radius cannot be negative. Okay, so your answer is you have to put the big square root over this.